people. <laughs> it always tickles me every time I say that. People. Today's video is gonna be on my divorce. For those who have been following my videos since a long time ago, I think I've been on YouTube now five years. Anyways, for those who have been following me for a long time ago, when I separated from the person that I was totally in love with, my followers saw a difference in me. Well, first of all, they saw that I wasn't posting videos, and then when I would, my eyes weren't shining. That's what they would tell me, and I would look into my videos to see, and I didn't see any difference, but apparently there was one. Because my channel is based on gray hair and outfits, I don't feel like my personal life has a place in this channel. I'm not talking bad about people who talk about their private life. That's not the point. The point is, I feel Feel that it's not part of what my message is about when it you know comes about clothes and gray hair however because I do have so many so many dear followers who are literally concerned about my happiness when people were asking me questions like that about my situation while I was going through all this which was like last year I never answered ever nobody ever got an answer from me however I started to get a lot of questions now that I am happy and people ask me are you like this because of your divorce now I don't want to go around I don't want to go out there and tell people hey get divorced so that you can be happy no that's the last thing I'm ever going to say ever. I am not against marriage. I love to have a partner. I love to have somebody to accompany me in my day to day, but I'm not going to be with somebody just because I has to be somebody who wants to accompany me the way I like to live my life and I accompany him the way he likes to live his life. Wrapping this intro up, because I've been asked so many questions, I have decided to finally answer them all and to be honest with you I kept a log and it's actually on my phone and I, all I would do is simply just add the questions one after another let me find it let me find it these are all questions that people would write to me and I would just take them plug them in my phone and I would keep them because we never know and I finally decided to answer them very quick synopsis if you are new to my channel I had been happily married when the rug was pulled under my feet quite suddenly. I did very little videos and I posted even less on IG during that time. Then I did a few videos explaining a little bit what was happening, the life altering situation that I was going through that was making me feel insecure. So my regular viewers, they got curious and they started asking questions. I lost a lot of weight and that got a lot of people asking me how did I lose so much weight. After being bombarded with so many diet and exercise questions, I had to come out and disclose that I had lost weight because of the depression after divorce. So now that I revealed that I had gotten divorced, then I got a lot of questions asking me if I am this happy because of the divorce. <laughs> a confidant of mine to whom I tell her my odysseys, she suggested that I do a video on this because she said you don't know who you can help with your experience. It could help another woman see that there's a way out if she really wants to see the light at the end of the tunnel which was my case. I was not going to let depression or feeling bad take me down. No way, Jose. So I made sure there was a light at the end of the tunnel and I kept my vision on it. And you're gonna hear more throughout this video. Without further ado, let's start this video. And let's start by me inserting right now a video that I took of me exactly one year ago. I'm doing this just in case you think you're the only one who ever felt like this. Get ready, it's not what you're used to seeing about me. Oof. Okay, here goes. <laughs> yes, I'm a loser. Oh my life, I swear to God, all my life, like, 
all my life. I can't, I can't remember. I can't remember not ever wanting what I had with and with the the flowers, the singing, the attention. Okay. The dancing, the holding, the kissing, you know, everything, everything you see in Hollywood movies, everything you see in these Instagram mini videos of the guy being the perfect guy because he sang to her, he danced to her, he gave her flowers or things like that, okay? I swear, all my life, I think I, rem I, I remember being five years old and thinking about that, okay? So when I finally got it, when, of course I dropped everything. Because he was everything that I wanted, but he came with a surprise. <laughs> I can laugh at this now because everything that I'm crying about in this video that you just saw, <laughs> I actually have it inside of me. So I've been crying, I've been yearning for years and years and years for something that I have in me i can give to myself that's another video okay so you guys are up to par are we understood are we on the same page if you have any questions do not hesitate to write them down in the comment section and i will be happy to answer them now i will now i will <laughs> bon on to the questions did you get divorced yes did he cheat on you no how long were you married enough years <laughs> what was is his nationality i won't answer that how many children do you have with him i won't answer that either did your gray hair made him leave you i don't know you would have to ask him but very good question are you still in touch with your ex no do you regret the divorce are you kidding me uh no do you wish you had never married him no his mission was to hurt me so that I could evolve. So I'm actually very happy that I married him. Does he want you back? Uh, hello, look at me. Would you go back? No, I learned my lesson and to go back would be for me to unlearn all my lesson. He had a job, he had a mission and that was to hurt me so that I could evolve. He did the job, he finished his mission, it's over, done with. And so is my attachment to him. Does he watch you on social media? When we first split up, I opened the Facebook. I don't have a Facebook, but at that time I opened the Facebook only so he could watch me. <laughs> of course, now after therapy and after learning my lesson, etc., etc., I shut down Facebook and I don't care if he sees me on social media. I don't know. I cannot see that. Did you do therapy? Yes, we did. Did you do therapy together? Oh, sorry. So I did therapy alone and yes, we did therapy together. When did you do therapy? Uh, we did couple therapy 12 months after we got separated and I did individual therapy 14 months after the separation. So first it was the couple and then it was individual. How long did you do therapy? Couple therapy lasted two months. It was enough for the therapist to certify that we had irreconcilable differences and individual therapy, I did it for six months on my own and I did it 14 months after the separation for six months. Did therapy help you as a couple? No. Do you recommend therapy? Absolutely. I recommend therapy for couples who see life the same way, that they're on the same page, that there's a lot of respect, that they really, both of them, want to make it work. Definitely. Why not? Try it out, at least. I know that I tried it out, and actually, it worked for us because certified that we had irreconcilable differences. Were your friends there for you? Hell yeah! For sure, definitely I had a lot of friends waiting for me to be okay and they were all there to pick up the pieces with me. I got so many shoulders to cry on. I'm very lucky. Post-divorce questions. Okay, so this person asked, this person asked the question like this. Post-divorce question, do you keep in touch with your ex? Absolutely not. He had a job which was to hurt me so I could evolve. He did his job, he accomplished his mission, and now he is no longer needed in my life. Not even a hello in the street. Do you miss being married? So, uh, so by the way, these questions are a bit all over the place. It's just because they're not in order. They're just in order of how I got them throughout the time. So do you miss being married? No. 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 Did I say enough? No. No. <laughs> I do not miss being married. What's 
so ever. I love my freedom. I love to go and come as I wish. I mean, no. Marriage for me is a yet. Oh my God. Watch it, watch it, watch it. I'm gonna get married. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you miss having a man around the house? Absolutely not. Well, except the guy who could fix the light in my mirror. Oh, the following question. Who fixes things around the house? Me. <laughs> so I go on YouTube and I say how to fix this and I fix it. So done. <laughs> did you like, okay, people really want to know about this marriage thing. So did you like being married? I guess, maybe, yeah, did I? All I know is that I need my space. I need my space, that, that much I know, I need my space. So I don't know. Can I, can I say I don't know? <laughs> I love these questions. Do you live in the same town? We live in the same city, but not in the same area. What job does he do? I won't answer that. What advice would you give someone who went through what you did? Oh, advice? Girl, I, well, I don't know how to answer this. Everybody's different. Everybody has a different situation and mission and reason for being and why. In my case, it was for me to evolve. So I would say that the thing that I would recommend you most after beyond anything else is therapy, individual therapy and couple therapy. Do you want to get married again? What is the obsession with being married? So the answer is no. What? <laughs> You know, I'm laughing because I haven't read this in a long time. So it says here, what advice do you give to someone who's about to get married? Don't get married. <laughs> no, it's not true. I won't say that. To be honest with you is none. I'm not going to give any advice to anybody who's getting married because everybody has to live their life. Everybody has to go through shit so that they can evolve. Everybody has a mission to hurt somebody in order to evolve. It doesn't necessarily have to be the person that you married, but shit has to happen so if it's because you got married to this person then go for it and if it's because some other horrible shit has to happen well it's gonna have to happen there's nothing i can tell you i mean no the advice to anybody who's getting married is none it's none of my business it's just congratulations hope you have a cool honeymoon and good luck to you do you have married children i won't answer that do you feel you put up a brave face when you were broken inside i don't think so let me think uh, in front of my friends and family i didn't like i cried about 23 hours out of 24. in front of the camera i can tell you that i didn't tape for the longest time for the longest time because I remember the first time I turned on the camera, I got such a, a knot in my throat and I, I had to stop taping. So when I did open the camera, I did put a brave face for you guys. So I guess it is yes. But in case anybody thinks that I'm broken now, <laughs> how did your children react to divorce? And I won't answer that. And uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Are you dating? If so, are you using any dating apps? Hell no, and hell no. How soon after your separation did you date? Um, I have a hard time answering that, so I'm not gonna answer that now. Do you ever miss him? Nope. Didn't, I was asked that question before, right? But anyways, do you ever miss him? No, ever, no, 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 no. What lesson did you learn from the marriage? Oof, uh, never to fall out of love with myself, regardless of anything, no matter what, come hell or high water. And I want to say it in 60 million languages, never, ever, ever again fall out of love with myself. Therefore, the lesson I learned is there is no better person out there for me than me. Did you like dating after your divorce? I'm gonna answer that another time. Did you ever go on a dating meeting? Go to a dating meeting? 
What's a dating meeting? What do you say to men who try to pick you up? Hi. In my 30s, I know that somebody would say to me, you're beautiful, and I'd be like, oh, on top of the world, and in my 40s as well. And now at 50, if somebody tells me I'm beautiful, I'm like, okay, thank you, but what else? I know I'm beautiful, but what else? Am I intelligent? Am I funny? Am I interesting? Am I passionate? It's things like that that make me want to be interested in a person who wants to be interested in me. I've gone through those years of feeling insecure on my outside. Now that I feel secure of my outside, I want to explore what's on my inside, which is way much more interesting and way much more deep and definitely way much more fun. I am a big flirt. I love to flirt and I will always flirt, but that for me is just fun in that moment. But anything more than that, it hasn't happened yet. I guess I put out my barriers. I say, don't touch me. I am perfectly perfect the way I am for now. Well, this is it for this video, my friend. I hope I didn't bore you with all the questions that you have asked me in the past. Now they're all out there. Later on, I'm gonna do another video about dating, but that's another video, like I say. Okay, ta-da! We're done. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in my next one. Gros bisous.